A U.S. official confirmed Thursday Israeli military forces have attacked a military base in Syria. The unnamed official says Israeli warplanes conducted an airstrike on a Syrian military facility near the port city of Latakia. The target of the raid was reported to be a shipment of Russian missiles. Israel is reportedly concerned the Syrian government might have been preparing to deliver those missiles to Lebanon's militant group Hezbollah. The U.S. ally isn't officially involved in the Syrian civil war, but CNN reports they are believed to have acted in the country several times. They do have certain red lines uh, that they will act on if they're crossed. And the transfer of sophisticated missile technology to Hezbollah is one of those red lines. The Israeli government has not acknowledged the strike or the existence of the Russian missiles, and according to NBC, they aren't likely to anytime soon. This attack is expected to follow the usual pattern. Neither the Israelis, Syrians, nor Hezbollah are likely to acknowledge the missiles ever existed or the strike ever occurred. The attack comes at a delicate time for Syria. The UN's chemical weapon watchdog just announced the first phase of the country's chemical weapons disarmament is complete. An analyst for MSNBC says Israel is more concerned with protecting its own interests than preserving the international effort to dismantle Syria's stockpiles. They are not worried. They're not thinking about the chemical weapons issues. That's not what the immediate concern is to them. What, what is of immediately concerning are the quality and quantity of weapon systems that fall into the hands of Hezbollah. According to ABC, this is the fifth time Israel has intervened in Syria this year. The last reported strike took place on July 5th, also near Latakia. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant. Multiple sources, a broader view.